Would okay. you see an early level in the ice armor from the Lich? I don't think it's I don't think in so. this situation because yeah. getting ice armor essentially says that you're assuming you're going to be making trades, but they're really not. Like they're not looking to make trades. If they're going, they're going all in, and they're going for the kill because they get the frost blast into the stomp. But it looks like the pause is done. Everyone's good to go. I actually have to say this: I don't like the Bat Rider mid versus the Marana. Okay. I feel like that matchup is actually not good for the Bat because the range his attack is quite short, and even if you get a bunch of stacks of sticky on a hero like Marana, unlike Puck, where you use your farming utility. The as escape. Marana just has a, an escape built in that isn't used to farm, so she can always star storm to push the wave, and she can just leap away. Right. So doesn't she have the lowest turn rate in the game, though? Marana is very slow turner, yeah. But at the same time, I feel as though you're never going to get in range really to do anything unless you pick up like a haste, right? So you can just eat auto attacks as Bat Rider when you go for creeps. I think that's more or less what's going to end up happening. It looks like they're scouting a level one rush, but they're going to find that it's not there. Yep. Takes half his mana for one arrow. It's yeah, but it's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Although, I guess if you're really next level, if you're Hani, you see him losing a little bit of mana, and you know that he's got arrow one and you use it. If you're somehow get... You know how sometimes if you block well enough, but you could get level two before the enemy gets yeah. level two? Right. And then go for the kill? Uh, that could happen. Yeah, uh, but there's another part. part of that too. What if it's next begins. next level, and he sees the mana that he's regen and assume that he used leap. leap instead of arrow oh. because he's not missing the yeah. same amount of mana. Uh, yeah. There you go. Let's see how next level it is. Yeah, but, but the that, really next level thing is that Sing Sing's not going mid. I think it's a two two one. Yeah, yeah. but it's just going to be ES. Andra, ES, from which mid. is way better, like in my opinion at least, because these two heroes bottom. I don't think we'll have any issue whatsoever laning against the aggressive dual lane that Fnatic have. Mm -hmm. But I still think the experience advantage will go the way of Fnatic because they have a Lich down here. So they're kind of minimizing their losses, more or less, just giving the Drow a better start. My question is, though, do you want to give the better start to the Drow or Sing and the Murata, who's supposed to be the mid-game impact player? Because it depends on what items they get. If, yeah. if we're talking about Blink Daggers on Drow, then yeah, I think Drow actually is going to give you some mid-game impact, especially with the Chain Silence. Uh, but yeah, Sing Sing is going to be have to be the, the person that's going to be getting a lot of farm. But keep in mind that uh, he is getting a little bit of help from Envy. I mean, Envy is going to give him the aura, so the early game damage bonus for Sing Sing is going to be nice. Getting that extra harass is good for sure. Yeah, and the fact that you miss one creep kill every 30 seconds or something from the Lich sacrifice is pretty big as well, and yeah. the experience as well gives you a big advantage in the offline. The interesting thing is that Fnatic didn't block the pull; they just warded for the lane. So I guess they're just being about as greedy as they can be in the sense that they want to try to go for like max farm. Mm -hmm. Trixie's going to eat an arrow here bottom, but he's more than fine. And we can see some creep pulling here. Fissures mid to pull the. Ancients. Well, okay. yeah, pull to the Ancients, but of course these aren't going to kill it. Pilai yeah. dies just denying experience from it. Hey, he, like three creep waves, I think. He, he's being a better version of Lich than yeah. Lich is, so, you know, you can't complain. I personally think that that is a little bit imbalanced, <laughs> like yeah, that you can good. do that. Especially the, the fissure, or fissure bottom lane. As dire, yeah. Yeah, that's really, really tough to deal with. In fact, you just can't do anything about it at all. Oh. Meanwhile here, it looks like a, a little bit of exchange of fire on the lane. And fire and ice. I'm surprised that Envy, when he delivered a courier, he got himself a pair of tangos, that there was no magic stick in that. Generally, that's the first item you rush to. Perhaps Envy is going straight for Boots of Speed to give him a little bit more guaranteed survivability. Or you think that's just... And I think that's what he's gone for. I think it's because maybe he assumed that there was going to be a dual lane mid. I mean, looking at it now, it makes a heck of a lot more sense that Cloud9 lane this way than the way that we were expecting them to. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, you want at least one of your lanes to get something, and in this case, they're prioritizing Envy, which is fine. So, I think it was just anticipation, honestly. Yeah. All right. If you're Air Shaker here, do you need to make sure you have mana to Fisher like, all the time? Is that the... Like, so now he doesn't, so... Well, there's a pretty low probability of there being any roaming on this lane, given the fact that bottom is a 2v2 and top is a 2v1, but the Dazzle really can't leave. Otherwise, Bone Seven's going to have a pretty easy time harassing Era, like, significantly, and there's no way Era can do anything to rebuttal against that. So the lanes are more or less going to remain static for a very long time, which I think kind of favors Cloud9, because it allows Envy to get his base built up, and Bone Seven actually still has 8 CS, even given the fact that he's in a 2v1, so it's not like he's doing terribly, and he's not being 
being totally zoned either. Yeah, so. well, No-Tail's gonna try a little bit right now here. A little bit of phase action, it looks like Bone7 trying to get out of there to crush being bait, well, baits out the jaunt. But yeah, like, I mean, Lich as well as Dazar aren't inherently great gankers, so uh, Envy knows that he should be safe uh, most of the time. Do you think he's gonna go for straight treads, or are we gonna see a little bit of a... Uh, Denied. Magic stick, magic wand, or a little bit of other items. I'm not sure, to be honest. I think that in games like this, Blink is still a really good choice. The one thing that sucks about it, though, is that when you Blink, say you're, you double tap your Blink, right, to Blink towards your base. Mm -hmm. And we can see Hani playing a bit aggressive here mid, but he's just going to back up. When you Blink away, if you're stickied, sometimes it can actually get you killed if you don't Blink fast enough because of the turn time. That's okay. the only kind of stipulation that I have with items like that. But even if you just get, like, Treads, Dominator, Blink, your damage is still insane, yeah, right? Yeah, because you're Draw Ranger. Yeah, because of Marksmanship. So once you get 11, you're still going to hit like a truck. You just have to make sure you're in the right spots. Okay, here so we go. It's all about positioning. Yeah, absolutely. Especially against Centaur Slardar team, man. If you get caught by that, you are not having a good time. I think Centaur is the most fun in the game to play. Press the old team, just like, wah, 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 them like. Well, good thing for uh, for Centaur is that there's no Rubik in this game, because when the other team gets Centaur ultimate, suddenly you're like, what's going on? Yeah, it's it's really tough actually when uh, you get your ult stolen because you pretty much can't use a spell unless you whiff it because you're running in range to try to stop them with your ulti. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a bummer. Well, what I've noticed is that Hani's doing a very excellent job in terms of farming his lane. Well, he's not really even in the lane that much anymore. He's farming his own jungle. He's farming the enemy jungle. And now in the invis ring, he can actually possibly gank bot as well. Bot doesn't have vision uh, at all, but you know, Hani is just straight up jungling. <laughs> this is like the first time I've seen in a pro game where it's like the new meta, hey, we sack mid, because why the hell not? Well, it's the same reasoning behind why it's okay for Envy to just sit mid, because there's not going to be any movement on the map. Yeah. So Hani pretty much feels the same way. He knows that Cloud9 are likely to not move, so if they're not going to move, why the heck would they go to their own jungle? They, they have a ward here, but it doesn't see up to the high ground, so Hani is going to be able to just eat the entire yeah, side of Cloud9. He's getting so map. much more in here than actual laning, so why yeah. the hell not? Good move, good move. He's level 6 now. He just got two levels from that. It's crazy. Jeez. Envy though is obviously keeping up, but that's going to allow Notel here to at least sap a little bit of experience by rotating. That's going to free up Puck on the top Radiant's lane though, which he desperately needs the last oh, second level. He's getting caught out here by the... He's a horse. Yeah, he is a horse actually. Sing, trying to line up the arrow. It's coming out. Trixie with the dodge, but I don't think he can get the high ground here without potentially going down. Sing actually gets first blood on death. No, the arrow he hit the double from the back line. Oh what? It hit, it hit no tail. Shoot arrow, hit arrow. Doesn't matter. That's not the person you're aiming for, but you know. Oh, Meanwhile, top oh tower here as we have a trade going off. Arrow trades his life for uh, Bone 7. Yeah. Eric gets the you know experience, but I think for Puck, he's happy with that trade. That was really crazy. I wasn't even looking at where that arrow went. I was just saying if Trixie was gonna live, and then all of a sudden, dead. <laughs> Six no got, got first blood off that arrow too, so that's a lot of gold for him. All right. Well, unexpected, but still, Cloud9 off to a really strong start, three to one. Leading the CS right now is Envy, sitting at 39 and 13, and of course, Era and actually Hani are right behind him. So it's not even like Fnatic are really losing out that much on their middle lane. A lot of the uh, Hanis will be jungle creeps though as well. Yeah. Yep. So I was wondering earlier, what is uh, what is Drow Ranger going to be going for? He has a Hannah Midas recipe in the stash, so uh, that's what he's going for. Quick Hannah Midas. What do you feel about a hero that already gets to her peak much quicker? Do you think Midas inherently gets weaker there? Because Midas generally helps you people get their experience, so they get to, okay. you know, their peak faster. But Draw already has that innately built into her. I don't know, I still think that getting level three marksmanship as fast as you can sure. is still gonna be good, you know? It's like 20, actually it's technically 40 bonus, I think, right? Because it's double the value as long as you're not in the certain radius of enemy heroes, so. Although in this game, you're always going to be yeah, radius I mean, of that. Yeah, you yeah. probably will be, but yeah. I still think it's fine, especially given the fact that his start has been phenomenal, 46 and 13 at seven minutes in. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not bad, so. Is there a time where the Hanamite kind of falls off? Like, after 10 minutes, it's not I don't think good. it ever it falls off. The whole yeah. point is so it doesn't fall <laughs> right, off. Like right. that's, that's the point of the item, is to just make sure that you remain relevant, even if you die, or even if you have a team fight where you don't necessarily get a whole lot out of it, you can just Midas, and it's like, yeah, okay, I'm still, I'm still getting something. Thing. It's reliable gold mm -hmm. as well, actually. Yeah, it is. Yep. So even if you die and buy back, you can still Midas something. So it's definitely not too bad. But I think that given the start that Cloud9 has, mm -hmm. I feel I feel pretty confident they're yeah. going to do well this game. It's and obviously, uh, you know, we're earlier we are talking about Slardar, the Centaur, the Batrider, so much frontline tanking. You need some ways to deal with 
the HP pool that they're having. And we're seeing, you yeah. know, Marana is not going to be a hero that can do that. Draw Ranger definitely can. Like, he or she does so much damage that she can pierce through that HP, no problem. But Marana actually oh, benefits seven. from the damage Top well. lane, going to throw out a silence. TP reaction coming in. It's going to be Pylai die. There's the face yeah. shift. Arrow wants to get another crush, maybe. He's going to be in some trouble. He's still on entrance, but I think, yeah, he's going to be fine. So, the range creeps. All right. nah, he's got a self. He's got a self. Pylai Dai wants to go for the stun, but unfortunately he doesn't have mana. Oh man, Arrow's going to re-engage. I don't think Pylai Dai saw that he had a self. This could be bad. He doesn't have sprint though. One second left. He's going to try to loop oh. around. Pylai Dai still no mana to crush. He does have mana to TP though. He buys one maybe. Oh, oh. no. Cancel on the crush. TP top. Chan Totem trying to get skilled. Here comes a silence oh. perhaps. Yeah, Puck came I in. I think he could have went for that, actually. Well, it's only level 1 waning. Earth. It would have been risky, but I mean, yeah. I think he might have been able to kill him. Ah, a huge knows. creep wave there as well. Although I'm kind of torn there because Pylai Dai is on my team and so is Hera, so I don't know who I want to live. kill each other, lads. No, just go your separate ways. <laughs> you have so much to live for. <laughs> All right, MV up to another 900 goal on the mid lane. Uh, I'm surprised that he actually hasn't been hitting this tower as much because, you know, draw base damage. There you go. Hit that tower. Is he Get worried about the bot rider? Well, the Batrider at 8 minutes in, there's no way he would... Whoa, he's actually looking pretty close, he's, man. He's gonna get this after. There's no way he's... Okay, he's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, this is like the third or fourth big stack that he's he's taken. And he's been stacking mostly for what himself. So there you go, the, the first gank is freebie. And I guess, you know, Envy is the person that you want to be ganking right now. He's definitely very high on the lift. The one thing about Drow, though, is you can jungle pretty much at any point in the game and you don't even need a dominator as soon as you hit six because you can just frost arrow the first creep you know yep. and they block each other so you don't really ever take any damage hey 10 base armor doesn't hurt either yeah yeah for sure yeah i, I think all eyes is on honey right now where is he going to go for the first gank he's got the tp and even he's got the smoke smoke is actually very critical for bat rider play you gotta stay hidden especially in daytime as well yeah. when you're f flying over i think envy is going to be a target you see no tail also smoked up so they're actually investing quite a decent amount of time and resource into this particular gang. It, for their sake, it, it better work. Well, Trixie has his ulti up as yeah, well. Trixie with the ult. So this could be their time. I would be surprised if they go for Sing though, over Envy. Because with Centaur ulti, you can guarantee that you'll pull Envy over the river. Like, mm -hmm. no no questions asked. And yeah, that's definitely who they're going for. Yeah, Envy is so dead. Oh, there's the Firefly. They're scouting it out. Here comes the Blink. Lasso's there. Pilot died with the oh, immediate fissure. fissure, though. Nicely done. Beautiful. And there's actually oh. no detection, but the Chain Frost. Anyways. Yeah, the Fate, the fate Time just came in a little oh, bit too late here. Here comes Bone 7. He does have Coil available. He does find two. Arrow! Of course it hits! Here comes the Star Storm. It's gonna go on Fly Fly. It does get graved up here. Can it actually bring him down? Meanwhile, no tail being stuck on the high ground. The big totem to his face. Sing Sing on the back line cleans up. So they did get Envy. But they got at least two supports for that. So not too bad. That's still a pretty good exchange. I love the fact that Bone7 was, I mean, he was there at the right time. Mm -hmm. The TP reaction was about as quick as I think you, as you could have asked it to be. And the, the Fissure from Pylai Dai definitely made that happen. Because if he wasn't there, there's no way Bone7 would have been in range for that coil. Like, right. no way. I actually think Sinxi might have, or sorry, Envy might have killed himself. Because he was fading into invisibility. And then he silenced. And then he cast yeah. silence. So mm -hmm. it just reset the fade time. So yeah, it was a little bit close. Level 1 fade time on Mirana Ultimate is, is not the best thing. Do you think the the game will change if they get the blink daggers online at the, for the dire? Absolutely. I mean, just being able to get in the face of Cloud9 is what Fnatic's team is built for. Yeah. So when you have like Centaur ulti and blink dagger and stuff like that, you definitely want to go as hard as possible. And man, Trixie is getting <laughs> annihilated by these birds. Yeah, these birds, not only do they do a lot of damage on the fresh instances, I do believe they get Drow Bonus Aura. Correct do, me if yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah, they do. They yeah, so, you know... Only if she activates it. If she it. activates yeah. it, yeah. So, eventually, there's going to be one that one team fight. Those those birds is going to hurt like hell. Especially when you have Aghanims on top of that. Sing gets a solo kill mid. He just picks off fly. Well, somebody's happy with their fantasy points right now. <laughs> so, you know you're saying Mirana is one of those heroes that either has zero impact or a lot of impact. Oh, oh, top lane. Top lane. Hani and Arrow, they spotted him out. Arrow's going to grab himself a kill. And I believe that what item is that? Okay, it's a Vanguard. So Era goes for the tankier build. I don't hate that considering Hani already has his blink dagger, you know, and you have Centaur ult too. So it's it's almost like overkill if you have double blink Centaur ult in my opinion. Yes. And just having a hero on your team who can actually take a hit is a pretty good idea.
idea in this scenario. It looks it's, like Trixie's going for one as well. I, I think especially against this lineup where if you blink incorrectly without Vanguard, you eat a fissure. As we see an arrow oh, up top. Oh man. Man, Sing Sing is just so good on this hero Star Storm. Not only is he gonna get the kill, he gets a centaur <laughs> as well. Just wanna like the value like, Star Storm. You go into somebody's house, you take their TV, and then on the way out it's like, oh, that's some good Nikes. I'll take those as well. I don't well. know what you do in your spare time, Lumi, but I just yeah, played that off. Well, I, I mean, just randomly break into people's <laughs> house and steal their shit, man. I don't know where you grew up, but you know I'm a G, right? So yeah, That's true. Top lane. Oh, Eric could be in some trouble here. Oh, Bone 7 shows himself, so I think Eric's just gonna just gonna sit back. Maybe they actually want to try to fight this little pie. They don't see Pylai die. And here comes the Eric's just gonna run into Ooh. some birds. Physical Does damage. A little bit of damage. New tech to Bone those birds. No coil just New yet. Tech. Still 10 seconds. Got an amp on the Aoi. Grave chills there. There's the Marana ult. Sting's actually making his way top right now, and there's no lane sentries or no detection at all, really, on uh, oh, on no tail. Damage. Yeah, Fly has one. They actually didn't drop it, so they don't know. They have no idea that he's here, and Arrow's walking in. He's going to get fissured. No arrow follow up, though, from Sting. It's a little bit too far away. But here comes the TP from Eternal Envy. It looks like they're it's actually... It's a five, man. Yeah, I'm surprised that they want to take fights like this this early into the game. Envy, it, there you go. Yeah. There's a Blink Dagger. So we're wondering what the item choice eventually is going to be. He's already level 11, man. He is super... Look at his farm. That hand of Midas, yo. Oh, that's an eye. Oh Fly, what a player. Arrow, not going to land. Man, Envy, you're supposed to get the last hit. That's one point right there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe a tower last hit is only one point. I feel like it should be more than that. I mean, that's actually the highest value of all the categories. Radiance yeah, but I still feel like just, you know, one attack. point. It's like, eh. A tower to nine should be like one and a half. Let's be real. Yeah, it should actually be worth more than a Long tower. Long arrow, not going to hit. Scouting arrow, man. Again, I I'm surprised that Cloud9 is pressing so aggressively, especially against a team that has a bat rider. That but inherently just scares me. Their damage output is still very high. Yeah, that's true. So... They can actually afford to do this, and because of the fact that they have a Drow on their team, their tower pushing potential isn't bad. Because between Sing and Envy, I mean, even Sing hits for what? Arrow? 160 damage? That Correct. The, uh, 160 damage. The air checker Fisher. The math the guys button. checked me out. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Beep, bop, boop. Oh, Hani, hey. potentially going for initiation oh, here. He spots out Envy. Him. Can he actually get him, though? It's I so dangerous. No, we're going to go on Bone 7 Fissure. instead of the immediate Centaur ult. Yep, counter Fissure on Hani, but an immediate kill going the way of Fnatic. Killing spree for Era. Weave going to be used as well. Sing on the run. Going to have to leap over it's Era as well. It's an Echo Slam. They're going pretty hard on Era right now. He has no backup. He's actually too fast for his own good. He's going to end up dropping to Aoi. Another Fissure comes out this time on Trixie. There are no bird stuns just yet, but a sole assumption to follow it up. Trixie, he's going to get graved. No tail though he's like yep i gotta get out of here man we bait we got baited a little bit too far i totally disagree with chasing there Blink dagger from envy the techs are coming in right now but nobody in sight to chase but here's the thing if you win a small scale team fight like that like drow ranger it doesn't matter that we're 14 minutes in the respawn time Dyer's short you're a drow you're gonna hit towers and envy if you miss this last hit turns on the birdie power here we go <laughs> That's the thing about Drow, man, is Drow does Dyer's so much damage, even with just these items. And yeah, there's your tower Dyer's last. There you go. One point. There's your point. I don't know. I, I really am kind of surprised that Era did that Radiance because it's so obvious that you're so much attack. faster than the rest of your team that there's no way they're going to be able to keep up with you. I think what he wanted to do is have his Vanguard tank so much allow his team to come back in, but I don't know, man. I, the damage that's what's coming out is way too quick, and another Blink Dagger gets picked up here on Puck. Yeah, Bone 7. He's got some initiation potential of his own, so he doesn't have to worry about being that close anymore because he was the one who actually got initiated on there. Mm -hmm. But now that he has a blink, he doesn't have to be on the oh. front line. It can be Aoi or somebody else. He might be in a little bit of trouble. No, he has blink. He should be. Yeah, he's he's perfectly fine. I say that, though. Hani on the backside. He's got Firefly up, but I don't think he wants to go. He's pretty low. And if you blink in and accidentally get Waning Rifted and Coiled instead of being able to get your lasso <laughs> off, yeah. then things get a little awkward. When you're a half HP. Yeah. Well, Fnatic looks like they were setting up shop to take this tier 1 tower, but uh, after the wards was dropped, they, they back up. I mean, if you play a passive game against Cloud9 with a Midas on Drow, who now has a Mask of Madness recipe, well, Envy's going hard. They don't have any terrors as well. They need They're just to... putting a lot of faith in the fact that Bone 7 with a blink and coil and fissures are going to keep him alive. And yeah. Pylai Dai really only has to fissure lassos. That's the really nice thing about playing Earthshaker in this matchup, is that's the only initiation you really have to worry about. For now. For now, but they always sent our ult with their lasso, so 
if maybe they save the Centaur ulti after the Batrider initiation, fights might go a little bit better for them. Because sure. both times, right, he's gotten caught by a stun. Yeah. So it's it's not really doing them any good. I think also, I mean, once Fnatic gets triple BKB on Show Centaur, me. Slaughter, and Batrider, then the fight gets much better, but we are very far from that. So uh, it's going to be Cloud9 advantage all the way to that point. Looks like we're going to see a four-man smoke gank, and they're going to run right oh, into these guys. The smoke's going to break. Oh, the coil dude. is going to... Three-man silence. Three-man coil. The arrow's going to hit no tail. He's dead. The last one's going to come in against AEI, but is that the target that you really want to do? They blow up AEI. Where's Envy? Envy's coming in. He does have the Mask of Madness delivered to him, but it's just a one-for-one -one trade. I think that's actually pretty good for Fnatic. Poor Oh man, he got the absolute worst of that. He ate everything, including an arrow to the face. Never mind. Cloud9 says, you're going to go straight to Rush. You yep. don't have anything. Yeah. You can actually tank this as Trow. You have 15 armor right now. Your damage output is pretty insane. And Fnatic have used Lasso and Centaur ulti, so there's a pretty slim chance they're going to be trying to initiate on this. Heck, they might not even know. Well, actually, they probably know. But can't do anything yeah, about they, it. Yeah, they can't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Roshan has there you go. Envy, he's got an Aegis. Thanks for man. It's legit. I, I think really what uh, Cloud9 is showing us is in this is game is attack. timing. It, it's all about knowing when you're stronger. Uh, earlier I was quite skeptical about fallen. that push up top. Oh, Envy. What a blink. <laughs> Did he try to get a tower? It looks uh, like he's Dyer's stuck in the trees, yeah. Oh. Uh, I think. Owie with a save. Yeah. Owie actually got the tower lasted with those birds. Yeah, I was worried about the Hand of Midas as well, because you were saying about the timing. Yeah. Like, if they, if he buys the Hand of Midas, it kinda, you think it slowed him down a bit, but all of a sudden he just has he, all these other items. Yeah, he just farmed so well and got so many kills. Actually, he has zero kills so far. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten only tower kills and creeps, basically. One, one tower. But that's all Jaw really needs. Yeah. Because people often forget that that hero is basically like a lone druid. He just kills buildings. Sure. That could silence and stuff. And of course, if you look at top lane, AUI is already farming. Cloud9 seems to be running away with this game. We do see the Blink Dagger pick up on Slardar, so he's going to be looking to aid Hani in terms of initiating, but he feels like they're blinking into the meat grinder this game. I'm not entirely sure how Hani is supposed to really lasso anyone, because he's never going to get Pylite Eye. At least he shouldn't. Right. Because he should be sitting so far away that there is no real method for him to get close enough. And if that's the case, anyone else that he goes for, it's going to be immediate counter-initiation. That's why I love Earthshaker as a hero, because it makes the initiation so much harder to do successfully. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that in general, just picking defensively postured lineups who have some kind of push potential like Cloud9s are so hard to deal with, because they're actually easier to play, too. Yes. So did you get another Blink Dagger on the Centaur or the Slider? Is that the game plan? So they can initiate and the, the bot rider can initiate after? Yeah, I mean, I think the best way to go about it is just have as many people go in a, as you can mm -hmm. and hope that Pilot Die doesn't just echo <laughs> your whole team. <laughs> but I don't know. It, it's still really hard because Cloud9 have two of the best counter initiators in the business in ES and Puck, so... Yeah, the birds are not too bad either. Like, it's a, it's yeah, a way to true. stun, like, the, the, for the people that doesn't have Blink Dagger, your two support that's trying to run in it, if the birds are in good position to stun you and, and kind of divide a team in half, it's a very easy Cloud9 victory. So, Cloud9, if you look at Visage, he's almost an Axe Scepter amount of gold. Uh, Envy's up to another 500. Got An them, item yeah. just got delivered. I'm not sure <laughs> what it is. To deliver. It's going to be a Maelstrom. Okay. How yep. much attack speed do you really need? Oh, here we go. Owie going to get lassoed up top. There's a Centaur ulti to follow it. And that ulti is not really going to help him too much. Era's going to bag himself a kill. Bone 7 going to jump to the orb. Era in a lot of trouble here. Envy doing quite a bit of damage. Flame Break to try to knock him to bash. He still does have an aim, just remember, but Envy secures the kill. Four more auto attack. He even got a Maelstrom proc on top of it. That Slardar slap hurts so yeah, much. He bad. just chunked yeah. Envy yeah. for 300 damage. Mask of Madness was on, so, you know, there was that. But, hey. Not too bad, not too bad. Trixie is just casually sitting here bottom. Wow, that double damage on Sing. He just wants to go for the kill. Immediate arrow follow up. And Sing, man. Did you see the Dazzle's arms? He lifted them to grave and said, oh, too late. So close yet, so far. Yeah, Sing Sing has really, I mean, we've been singing Envy's praises with this damage and item choice lately, but it was really, really Sing Sing that tied the game together. Uh, in the beginning portion of the game where it was quite even. Sing Sing just got some magical arrows and went to work. And the rest was, you know, easy follow-up for the rest of the team. So I wonder where Cloud9 is going to strike next. They still have the Aegis on uh, Envy for quite uh, almost maybe one or two more minutes. I'm surprised they're not pressing the Tier 2 mid or Tier 2 bot yet. 
Well, I mean, there's no real pressure for them to, because let's be honest, the late-game Drow crushes Fnatic's lineup anyway. Because sure. once the Drow is tanky enough to live through the immediate initiation, or, heck, even if he doesn't go tanky, and he just goes... I don't just, see a single tank. Yeah, if he so goes far. glass cannon, <laughs> right. he'll still just kill them, right? Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I think Cloud9 are in a really good spot. All right. So, I, I normally I love Mask of Madness on Batrider. I don't think this is the game to do it. I actually agree completely. I, I don't think movement speed will solve the fissure, which comes in at, was it 1500 range, 1400 range? It's pretty big. Yeah. So. And Drow is gonna hurt so much when you have Mask of Madness on then. Just wait until he gets Mjolnir, man. Man, Mjolnir, with the change of the, the splash lightning damage, or whatever you call it, actually increased your damage output so much. It used to yeah. be in this like cone in front of you, now it's in this big AoE. It's massive there. Yeah, actually, Trixie is going to be the get caught, silenced. He's kind of used his ult to get himself out of there, but Coil will latch him. And here comes the Blink Drow Ranger, two shots. He gets caught with the Fissure again right there. Hani's going to get picked off as well. AEI, my man, double kill. And that's going to be top racks, I think. Well, I don't know. It's it's pretty low. Yeah, it might be. Look I mean, at the damage. The yeah, team does. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. It draws 16 at 22 minutes in. We got some problems. That's probably Agnum's finished on uh, the Visage as well. Yep. It's just so hard for the Bat to Dyer's do anything against that team. Under There's just too many methods of just, hey, you can't lasso and get away. Yep. He's been so on point with the Fishers, though. Really has. Awesome. Yeah, Pilot Die for me has played this Dyer's game perfectly. Couldn't fallen. really ask for any better. That's Dyer's the range racks down, the melee racks should be next. I think we're gonna see Fnatic have a good attack. one last stand, Dyer's but oh, barracks barracks never mind. 200 G's. Got, yeah, got the birds, I guess. I don't know, for me, this game got out of hand really quick. As soon as they saw the, the landing phase tape shape, it's like, they drive against a pretty static Whoa. team. Wow, Envy just wants to go ham here. He's still got his Aegis. I mean, it's okay. long left on it. There's a ward on the high ground as well. There's a sentry, but I don't think they want to try to kill it just yet. Oh, Trixie. Trixie, no. The damage. Bone 7 goes in. Managed to get a silence on one. Immediate center order oh, coming out from Trixie. Bone 7 could be going down. Nice fissure by Pally Die, but unfortunately doesn't save him. Hani gets the kill. Rest of Cloud9. I think we're just going to go ahead and back they, up. They right need now. it back. There's no oh, fissure. Owie, what are you doing? Now he's migrating the birds. Yeah. That's not your base, buddy. All right, well, they have Lasso, and now this time it goes on Pylai Dai. He's going to get caught as well, dragged all the way back to base. Here's a, a couple of stuns and nukes, and Pylai Dai goes down as well. The fuck you, Echo Slam. I, I don't know what just happened. Hero wants more, man. He really wants to kill Envy. But I don't know, man. It's pretty dangerous for him to go on Envy, because if you have Mjolnir on yourself, even if you are a Mask of Madness, you'll probably take quite a bit of damage. But I think Envy's just going to be fine anyway. Yeah, Envy's up to another 1,800 gold. I think if Crystallis... Or Daedalus comes out, man, the deeps are just going to be too much. Or do you think he's so scale it back for a game-losing item? <laughs> Butterfly, man. It looks like okay. he agrees with you on the game-losing lo item thing as well. And maybe <laughs> with a <laughs> casual blink into another spot, there's no birds to save you this time, buddy. <laughs> are we? Hell. I'm not sure what about that micro, though, earlier by Vistage. He, he's he's you know, hey, generally man, on top of that. It's it one extra bird. It confused them. Yeah. I could see how, you know, they look kind of similar, like yeah. Vistage and his birds. They both have wings. They look nothing they similar. <laughs> one, one is gray, one is blue. Hey man, I'm trying to defend them. Oh man. Jeez. But yeah, clearly Fnatic not in the greatest position right now. The, the blink on Trixie is nice. Gives them more initiation power. Which I feel like that's all their team was built around. It's just, we're going to initiate and we're going to go and go and go. But it's just so easy for Cloud9 to just be like, nope, you can't do anything. Oh, it's been rough. Especially on Hani. Yep. I, I think the next fight that uh, the teams are going to be angling for is perhaps... Where's the Roshan? It's going to be in anywhere from one to three minutes. Is that what that... Yeah. Because as soon as that last dot runs out, then the inner circle comes up, which is the next three minutes. Man. It looks cool. Yeah. Ooh. The hieroglyphics. It is. Burning. It's really overly confusing for no reason. But, yeah. It's actually spawning now. Yeah, it's immediately spawning. So it was the um, it was the really short sp uh, timer, which is good for Cloud9 because yep. they actually have all the lanes pushed in well, right now. Well, the thing is, if they lose this team fight and they get wiped, Slaughter with the amp damage could actually easily take it down. So this is Dyer's actually a fairly important fight, depending attack. on how Fnatic ticks it. Looks like you just give it up completely, and that's going to allow Cloud9 to easily waltz into the Roshan pit. Yeah, they should be able to get this, go check Roshan on the Dyer's way back, see it's up, and maybe secure it. Hani is nearby, though. 
These are the kind of fights, though, around Roshan is where things can really change drastically mm -hmm. because there's so many ledges and high ground areas that even if a Fissure comes really fast from Pai Lai Dai, it could potentially just be enough time for Hani to get somebody like up on the high ground, you know, yeah. Yeah. where the rest of Fnatic is. So there's actually less margin for error and fights like that, but Here we'll we see how they handle it. Especially when one team has flying vision and the other team does not. Hani will find Bone 7, that's a good target. The Fissure, it's always on point. Bone 7 though, looks like he got his face off, but the Silent was on top. The arrow looks like it's not gonna hit on anything. Oh, arrow, it's gonna get blown up, but he does have Gray for a little bit longer. Leap goes back, Hani, oh. arrow is gonna die. And the birds on the backside just cleans up. <laughs> Playing forward, high like die, fly getting stuck, and the manor slam right in the face. Sing actually gets the kill on that one too. Sing 8-0-6 this game. He's got Jeez. drums, Manta. Yeah, and of course Envy's gonna go into the Roche pain. Poor Envy Roche, yeah. he doesn't deserve this. Man, do you see the damage though on that slaughter? He blinked in and he just lost all of his HP instantly. Yeah. The thing is, you can just put the Mjolnir proc on somebody, and it does an insane amount of damage if yeah. somebody's getting focused. Like it really is an insanely good item since the buff. I used to think it was pretty bad. Oh, Blink on Trixie, gets a stomp off on Owie. Pilot died coming in with the Fissure. I, Envy's just gonna attack. come in here and turn somebody off. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Damage. Oh my god. He got the grave. Right. No tail, never give he's up, never though. surrender. He's gonna die to the tower nope, shot? He's alright. No, nope. nope. okay. that's another kill. Alright. Sing Sing cleans up. I mean, Sing Sing's. I, I, I wish I first picked Sing Sing, because if you look at his fantasy points. Oh, we haven't been checked out. Can we actually look at it? Just make sure you don't miss your vote. Eight. Ooh, Blink stomping. Trixie dead. Uh, Sing's racking up some pretty decent points attack. this game, I have to say. Dyer's no tail sitting at a solid minus falling. point one. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. So, do you feel like it's just a very, very good draft uh, from Cloud9 I with do. the I really Earthshaker do. and the Draw Ranger combo that really just kind of seal things away? Well, clearly, you always have to execute lineups where you're pretty heavily reliant on counter initiation. But, but you I, talked about the ease of execution once this. Right, but it's still like. Pelai Dai was really fast with all of his fissures. Mm -hmm. Even time, like one well. extra second or two extra seconds could have been the difference between a hero being alive or being dead, or even them just trading a kill instead of just losing somebody for no reason. Right. I think the fight top Dyer's actually hurt barracks. really Under hard for attack. Fnatic because that was the point where I thought, hey, they got Bone 7, they picked him. At the very least, they can force Cloud9 off their side of the map because they had actually been playing it pretty aggressively for the majority of the game. But I do agree that Cloud9's draft was a bit easier to play. But, I mean, you can't fault that. Like, you can't fault a team for picking a, a, yeah. a draft that is easy. And it worked really well for them. So I was just impressed because the heroes looking at them on Fnatic, by nature, you say they want to play aggressive, but their lanes were quite static. The only person who really moved at all was No-Tail. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the support, the two supports were went wrong. Like, yeah, they were great lane supports. Uh, but, you know, again, you don't expect a, a Dazzle and a Lich to be ganking. And, and the cores really need those supports to stay in lane to help out, so... It was tough for them. Well, uh, Honey got a really good start, actually. He got, like, all the... Aim in a blink? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Really fast there. He just couldn't do anything with it, I guess. Yeah, a lot of the game was really relying on him and being able to find initiations, as are most teams that are comprised of bat riders. But this one especially, because even the first kill they got on Envy, it wasn't just a get-away free kill, yep. you know? They lost two, two supports. supports yeah. 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 Cloud9. Going Looking for the pretty blade. darn good. Uh, Looking to clean things up. Illusion Ring gets picked up here by Sing Sing, who, by the way, also working on the Maelstrom of his own. Got a Mantis out already finished. What do you think of the Shadow Amulet change? Do you think Anton's... Have you seen any cool plays over here? Or? Not really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean I, I've seen in a pub game somebody like Shadow Amulet, the Tide Hunter, in the middle of a wave, and then somebody walked up to try to push their base, and he just ravaged them all, and they won. Well, that's pretty much it. Yeah, when I saw in the patch notes, I was like, oh my god, we can do so much cool shit, and then... It's oh, really not, like, no, that no. useful. It's just, this game is not really favoring you when you're sitting in one spot for too long. So any item that you have to stand still with is kind of like, okay, not the greatest. Get a little yeah. four stuffs. I on. think uh, Pilot I just call for a smoke into the top lane. I think they're going to go into the top racks where it's already ticking and do a surprise... Backstab here. Reach around. I like yeah. this. This is really good. Yep. Also, I think Assault Curious just got finished on AUI, which when your support visage has access. Oh, my he's got some here. Here we go. And yeah, there's no sentry. Is Trixie going to be the first one to find out? Hey, they're here. It hurts real bad. An 825 damage crit. 
Not too, not too shabby. Yeah. <laughs> Just take down the range rack, mow that barracks. one down. The arrow, not gonna hit. What do you do? Like it's, it's not Dyer's looking great. Definitely not. No. <laughs> and the thing is, if Arrow commits to a fight, he just goes splat. Like the damage output on the side of Cloud9 right now is completely insane. And no much all of it. No Tail's gonna yeah. lead the charge self grave, and here we go. We're gonna have Arrow trying to go in to do some damage, but No Tail's gonna be the first one to drop as soon as that grave runs out. On the backside, the splat has happened, and Gigi gets all. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the way Cloud9 played this. Yes. Like, their draft, I think, after I saw the way the lane shaped up, it looked to be their advantage kind of from the get-go. And be having a free lane, I don't know. It, it just really felt to me like there wasn't much that Fnatic could do, especially after the first time you see Hani initiate and you see the fight go down. And it's like, well, they got a kill and uh, they lost two supports. And every single fight after that, Pylai Die was just on point, which is fissure, fissure, fissure. Yeah, you get fantasy points for that.